the end is near. Is your name in the book of life? And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Revelation 2015 Brothers and sisters, I bring you good news. The good news is that Jesus Christ has come to the world to reconcile us to God. He has come that when we give our lives to him, we will have a new heart. We are all sinners but Jesus Christ died on the cross as the complete sacrifice for our sins to make salvation possible. Romans 3.23 says that we have all sinned and come short of the glory of God. God in his grace offers us the gift of eternal life, but we must confess and repent of our sins. Accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior today for he is coming back again. I don't know why this lady is just everywhere preaching the gospel. She must really be jobless. How can you say that? Are you not the choir leader in your church? You should know better. Soul winning is an important aspect of Christianity. Luke 15, 7 says that there is joy in heaven over one person that repented more than over ninety and nine just persons, which need repentance. I know but I just dislike the fact that I see her every time. It's like she's preaching to me when I know that I'm serving God. Serving God does not make you a child of God. You must confess and repent of your sins. Only then can you be saved. I know. Good morning, my beloved brothers and sisters. This morning, I want to remind us that the end is near. Judgment Day is coming. Is your name in the Book of Life? God is inviting us to come to Him. John 3 3 says verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Are you born again? Have you confessed and repented of your sins? There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh but after the Spirit. Romans 8, 1. No one knows when he or she will die. Brethren, what shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose your soul? For it is appointed unto man to die once, and after that is judgment. Judgment day is coming, will your name be found in the book of life? Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. God bless you. Sigh. This woman is in my estate preaching this early morning. Every time, repent, repent. Why must she always disturb the peace of this environment? I am a Christian and I don't go around disturbing others like her. What's going on? My brake just failed. The blood of Jesus. There's a truck coming, God, help me. Oh God, why did I witness that accident? It was a ghastly accident. The truck driver was trying to avoid that young man's car, but they crashed into each other and the young man died on the spot. This is so sad and heartbreaking. May his soul rest in peace. Amen. Where am I? What am I doing here? What's next for me? Excuse me. Where should I go? Are you born again? Yes, I am. I study the scriptures and pray every day and I also speak in tongues. Are you born again? I pray to God and he answers me speedily. I am the choir leader in my church. I have been the choir leader for three years. Are you born again? I have trained a lot of people to sing for God. I've also taught them how to play instruments. I can play the keyboard and any musical instrument. My spiritual father is Papa Jimmy. He is the general overseer of the largest church in America. I am a kingdom builder. Are you born again? I sing and people are delivered. I sing while my Papa preaches and lives are touched. Souls are one for you. I feed the poor, I take care of the needy. I pay my tithe and offerings. Are you born again? Are you born again? Are you born again? Then why can't I find your name in the book of life? Why is your name not in the book of life, if you're truly born again? Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Matthew 7 21. For many will say unto me on that day, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name? And in thy name cast out demons? 
and in thy name done so many wonderful works? And then I will say unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you workers of iniquity. There are many Christians in the world but few believers. Are you a believer? Yes, I am. Then, why do you lie? You'll say that it's just a little sin, but there's no bigger little sin. Why do you sleep with your choristers? Why did you commit fornication? Why did you ask that sister to abort that baby so that the church will not know? Why do you use internet to scam and steal people's money? Why do you have an unforgiving heart? Do you think that I don't see you? You cannot hide anything from me. Lord, I am sorry. Please, forgive me. Please, have mercy upon me. I am so sorry. Please, give me a second chance. Depart from me, you worker of iniquity. <laughs> and to you watching this video, is your name in the book of life? Anyone who is not found in the book of life will spend eternity in the lake of fire. So, I want to ask this question again, is your name in the book of life? Singing will not get your name in the book, where you serve in church will not get your name in the book, the number of church services you attended will not get your name in the book, the number of prayers you offered will not get your name in the book, the number of people you ushered to their seats will not get your name in the book of life, the number of mission meetings and conventions that you attended will not get your name in the book, water baptism will not get your name in the book. All these things mentioned here will be judged but the only way to get your name in the book is to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. How sad will it be, that many will stand before the Lord only to hear Him say, Depart from me. How sad it is to attend church for years, then die and go to hell. We can fool each other, but we cannot fool an omniscient God. Our works will be tried by fire. Therefore, we must ensure that everything we do is from our hearts. It is written in Philippians 3.10, that I may know him in the power of his resurrection, and the fellowship of his sufferings being made conformable unto his death. Do not go to God, only because of the things you can get from him. You should know him for yourself. Anything that we do that is not from the heart for the Lord is from the flesh and it's not worth doing. Whatever you do, do not try to please people but God because on the last day, when God renders his divine judgment, there can be no appeals. All of us must stand before the judgment seat of Christ, and if your name is not in the book of life, you'll be eternally separated from God upon death. If your name is found in the book of life, you'll be saved. My brothers and sisters, confess your sins and repent today for no one knows when we will breath our last. My prayer is that on the last day, may we not be cast away and may these words not stand against us on that day of judgment. Thank you for watching and God bless you.